I know uh, students we are now at the gross margin of the tomatoes and uh, here we are going to look at the input uh, all costing in US dollars we are going to see how uh, the input that you need then the output on the other side because this actually is the most important section because uh, this is what is going to inform your decision. Uh, we are going to look at the inputs, uh, all what is, what is required in terms of establishing the greenhouse. And here we are looking at a greenhouse 8 meter by 30 meter that will fit a thousand plants. And now we go to the input. Uh, the first input there is the posts and trusses. This is for, you know, making the structure. That is the timber. Actually, here we are talking about the timber structure. Uh, for the other structure that is steel structure, still we can also be able to look at it. Uh, but let us first of all look at uh, the, the, the timber structure. And here we are going to, to look at uh, um, the post and trusses for the structure, which is uh, $510. The insect net, insect net that we run. Uh, the side of the uh, uh, greenhouse, the length of the greenhouse, and then the top where we have the area of ventilation, that is $216. The polythene, that is going to cover the greenhouse, $665. Nails for fixing the posts, the, you know, the trusses, the posts together, $34. The barbed wire for support of the, of the tomatoes, $45. We have the drippers you know, for taking the water to the plant. That is a $24 main pipe that will now come from uh, the main pipe that will come from the main water tank coming in into the greenhouse, $6. Uh, connectors that will be able to connect the water from the main tank, we have uh, uh, $15. And then we have uh, water filter water filter uh, that is from the tank that is thirty dollars then we have the tank itself one forty five dollars this is a thousand a thousand liters maybe you can have a bigger one but a thousand liters will serve we have the water tank stand at two hundred dollars a steel water tank stand then water connections that is uh, the connections uh, inside the greenhouse all those connections to make sure the, the drips are in place and everything, $30, then manure, well, very well decomposed manure, 30 tons, I mean 5 tons, uh, that is $120, a soil test at $20, bed preparation, the, the, the bed inside the greenhouse preparation at $20, then we have the seedlings, each seedling costs uh, 0.1 on a, of a dollar, so a thousand of them will cost you $100, Chemicals that you are going to use for pest control, disease control, uh, the foliar fertilizer, $200. The fertilizer that you are going to use inside there for that time, uh, $50. Electricity that you are going to use because you are going to pump water uh, from the water source to the water pump, that will cost you $100. Then water pump, if you don't have a water pump, you have to buy one to enable you pump water from the water source to the tank, that is $2,500. That is $250. Then the labor. Uh, remember, labor, you are making the bed. You are uh, paying uh, the technician that are making the structure, putting the net and the polythene, everything. The labor is two, uh, $220. So we have a, a grand total of uh, $3,000. You add a miscellaneous of 5%. You get $3,150 as your total input. When you go to the out output, uh, production per plant is supposed to be, uh, it can be more than 15 kgs per plant, but here we are talking about 15 kgs on average. I've seen people who have done more than 10, more than 20 kgs per plant, but here on average we are going to give uh, 15. And therefore, when you let any plant die inside the greenhouse, you are losing 15 kgs. Therefore, it's very important such, such that all the plants uh, are able to move until to maturity to be able to, uh, for you to realize all the production that is needed. 
Now, 15, 50, uh, 15 kgs per plant. For a thousand plant, we, ha we have 15,000 kgs or 15 tons. Uh, as the total production is at that greenhouse for a period of uh, a minimum six months. And uh, the average price is uh, 0.5 US dollars. That's the average price. The price can go as high as uh, one dollar. It goes up sometimes, goes up, and sometimes can go down. But on average, we are giving it at uh, per kg 0.5 of a dollar. So the gross income you take uh, the cost per kg multiply by the total kg kgs. And uh, you are going to find that uh, the total gross income is $7,500. And uh, this is uh, uh, in a matter of uh, six months. Because uh, within six months, it's possible for you to get here. Uh, sometimes, depending on your management, you may go even up to around eight months or nine months still harvesting, whereby you can even exceed uh, these kgs. You have... Uh, a gross uh, a gross output of 7500 uh, this 7500 can go up because uh, if this is one dollar then uh, your total output uh, will go up but uh, sticking to this you less the output at 150 and you get a net income of uh, 4350 so for a street structure what will change uh, mainly here because tree structure will be used and of course the labor is going to change because uh, there will be welding, there will be fixing, we have, there will be some other item to use. And therefore you may find that uh, this, this may increase by another, uh, let's say a thousand or even uh, 1,500 depending on, let's say on, on average, it will, it will, the cost will increase by uh, another a thousand. And therefore uh, that 1,000 it will be around 4,050. So if you less, there are 1,000 here on your net income, you still have around 3,350. So which is still uh, a good margin and you have your tree structure, you have already made profit with the first crop. And uh, this is uh, where many are using KG as a uh, point of reference in terms of uh, selling. But you may go to some air uh, we call them open air market where they use the big crate of 60 kgs. So 60 kgs per crate, then for your 15,000 kgs, uh, that is 15 crates. 15,000 divided by 60, you get to 50. On average, the crate goes for around 30 US, US dollars. Uh, you may find sometimes it may go even up to 50, uh, 50, uh, 50 dollars. I've seen even some places when, when some instances when it, have, it has gone up to 10, uh, 100 US dollars. I've also seen it even go lower to come at, up to 10 dollars. But on average, you are just taking this. Let's say on average you found uh, it is fluctuating, then on average we say it's 30. So take your 250 crates, multiply by 30, and you get a gross income of uh, 7,500 US dollars, which is the same that you have seen here. When you less the expenses, you are back here. And therefore, whichever way you use, you see we, are, uh, we have been able to, uh, we are able uh, to get the same margin. And if you maybe you have instead of uh, 2,000, instead of uh, 1,000 plants, maybe you do 2,000, then this will be double this. If you do 3,000, it will be three times this. And therefore, the bigger, the, the higher the number of tomatoes you have, how the production that you are going to get. Using this uh, gross margin, you can be able to see that uh, greenhouse farming is quite profitable. It is a venture that you can be able to do it. You do greenhouse alongside other uh, crop crops. And remember we said you can be able to harvest water and then you can do irrigation outdoor. And therefore, you can have this income plus other income from other crops that you will be farming. And therefore, with this, I hope this is convincing enough that you can now be able to dedicate your time and your resources to be able to grow the uh, tomatoes inside the greenhouse. And we should encourage, it is better you start with an 8, 30, 8 meter by 30 meter that you are going to have a thousand plants at first so that you can be able to learn. 
once you do one crop two crops and then now you can be able to go beyond here and do many other crop uh, and do uh, you know bigger greenhouses than this